to be showing you how to make my salmon cake recipe out of my cookbook, Wandering Palette. And this is a delicious way to eat your salmon. It almost is like a salmon burger and it's super simple to make. So I'm going to start by showing you how to prepare the salmon for our salmon cakes. So I have about a pound of wild salmon here in a baking dish and we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And I've kept it very simple. I just put a little bit of butter. You can also use some coconut oil if you're dairy free and a little bit of sea salt and that's it. So let's go ahead and get our salmon baked and then we can turn this into our salmon cakes. And now that our salmon is out of the oven, we get to start making our salmon cakes. So once it comes out, you want to let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then once it's cooled off, you're going to want to scrape it off the skin and put it into a bowl and start to get it really flaky. And you can either do this with your hands or a fork just to kind of mash it up, or you can also do it in a food processor. Just make sure not to over process it. So I've gone ahead and flaked our salmon here in a bowl. And now we're going to start compiling all the ingredients for our cakes. So I have about a third of a cup of almond flour and I've gone ahead and put that through my the sifter to make it really nice and thin and I have about a quarter cup of fresh parsley that's been chopped. I have three tablespoons of fresh dill that's also been chopped and I have two eggs that have been beaten and we're just going to go ahead and get that all into our bowl and now we're going to add a little bit of seasoning. So I have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, I have half a teaspoon of onion powder as well and we've got about a teaspoon of sea salt that we're gonna add in. So here you can either use a fork again or you can use your hands, whatever you need to, in order to make everything fully combined. And the almond flour is gonna give it a little bit of a breading kind of flavor without having any grains in it. So this is a great gluten-free and grain-free alternative. And you're just gonna wanna go ahead and mix this. And I actually like to use my hands, especially with the egg, just to get it fully combined and you can start to form your patties out of this. So I'm just gonna give it a good mix. Once everything has been combined, we can start to shape our patties and you can either do this with your hands or you can also use a burger press, but we're just gonna keep it simple today. So what I like to do is divide my mix in half so you can start to see what you've got to work with. We're probably gonna make about six patties out of this. So once you've combined it or split it up into the two halves, you can start to form your patties. And I just like to do them with my hands. You can start with a little bit of a ball and then flatten them down and they should fold together pretty well, especially with the egg that's in there. That's a really good binder to keep everything together and we'll go ahead and just get these all formed and then I'm going to show you how to cook these up so we can start to enjoy them. To cook our salmon cakes we're going to heat a skillet over medium heat and you're going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Once the pan is hot you're going to go ahead and place your salmon cakes in the pan and cook it for about three to four minutes until each side is golden brown. It's a very simple process and then you'll be able to enjoy your salmon cakes. All right, our salmon cakes are hot off the skillet and they're ready to enjoy. I like to serve them with a side salad. You can do something simple like arugula with some lemon, salt, and olive oil, or you can do a little fancier salad, use some ranch on it. That goes really well with the salmon as well. And I like to keep it simple. I like to just squirt a little bit of fresh lemon juice on them and they are ready to enjoy. So let's dive in and have a little taste. Mmm, so good. All the fresh herbs, the salmon, and a little bit of the breading from the almond flour. They're absolutely delicious. It was one of my favorite recipes in my cookbook. You can get the recipe in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website, thetrailtohealth.com, and also on Amazon. I hope you enjoy the recipe.